Hello all, Shoestring here. I'm getting ready to trickle charge one of my backup batteries with a some Harbor Freight solar panels. These are each 15 watts, so it's 45 watts all total. I thought I'd show it to you real quick. I've had some questions about these. I have all these wires, right? They do a pretty good distance too. Anyway, I have them all combined over here into this connector, also came from Harbor Freight, right there. These that are connected together uses a standard Harbor Freight connection, and it goes into the charge controller, which is also from Harbor Freight. Hopefully you can see that. It's at 12.6 volts now. Okay, so they go into the charge controller. Right here, real easy to plug in, right? Goes right in. And then from the charge controller, of course, the two wires, positive and negative, go to the battery. This is just a little one I'm trickle charging here. Positive, negative. And you can see it is doing the job. Or hopefully you can see the 12.6. Let me remove one of the clamps. <gasps> and there it goes, right? It all went insane because I moved one of the clamps back to 12.6. Sometimes I even connect everything to the hub when I have more more uh, panels than this little connector will hold. But at the moment, this is satisfactory. And this is how I trickle charge some of the batteries. This, like I said, is a backup battery. I use it for all kinds of little projects. And it's fairly simple to do. So, all you need, of course, is a small screwdriver, like that one there. Make sure that the positive and negative are correct. Also, what's good if you use Harbor Freight is these little connectors here will also connect into the hub. And this hub right here will take 400 watts. Plenty if you want to connect several of Harbor Freight's uh, solar panel kits up. Because each one of their panel kits, of course, are 100 now. When I started, they were only 45 watts, but I still have some. So there you can see 12.6 it was. Now it's 12.7 as it slowly charges. All right? Okay. So that was just a quick overview of how I do some of these. Uh, let me show you this. All three of these panels, of course, have their own Harbor Freight connections. Right? Each of these goes to an individual panel. You can do these like individually if you want to. I have them all connected, just like that. So you take these three and you put them into this little connector right here. All three connected into this connector. That one goes into your charge controller, Woo, which is already at 12.8. It's going. Okay, so all these items you can purchase from Harbor Freight if you'd like. No, Harbor Freight doesn't sponsor me. I just show you things I use that I think would help you. They also have what they call a six-piece solar kit that has a lot of these connectors individually. Like that, these clamps here and these connectors. You can also buy a hub, which also has all the parts you need to put this together. So take it out, take a look at it, see what your needs are. 12.9, we're climbing. And there you can see the battery. I should keep it cleaner. I really don't. But the terminals are clean, and it has plenty of water in it. Make sure your deep cycle flooded acid batteries have water. Very important. Okay, so that is how I trickle charge a battery. You can do the same thing real easily. And if anyone would like, put it down in the comments if you'd like to see me do so charge something else. Or if you'd like to see me take this apart and do it individually. It's really no issue. So, I hope that's helpful. If you like these videos, please subscribe and like and shoestring out.